Hello there, my name is Omar Jaju and uh, welcome to the Chronicle. Here we are and uh, in Base Manekunda. And uh, you can see behind me is a crop of young players uh, sitting just from training. The team is called Kuti Jambulu. It's where Ibrahim Amani, one of the country's best midfielders, uh, started his career along with uh, the late Sergio Mane. And so my mission today is looking at where it all started for Ibrahim Amani. And uh, joining me here is uh, Ibrahim Amani's younger brothers. And maybe I would say his uh, former teammates in the Kuti Jambulu, people that he played together, people that he did everything together in this village. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me, gentlemen. Uh, we're starting from Mulamin Sane. Mulamin, uh, thank you so much for hosting us in Base Manekunda. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and uh, Ibrahima, Ibrahima is the head coach of uh, the Base Manekunda now. It's a pleasure uh, having you on the Chronicle. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for meeting you. Yeah. Thank you. So tell us a bit about Ibrahima Mane. He started here, we know, from Kuti Jambulu. Yeah, Ibrahima started here as a Kuti Jambulu player. Yeah. He was solely brought up by his own elder brother called Fode Mane, late Fode Mane, where it all started. They start at a very young age with the ambition of becoming somebody sometime in the future, in his football career, and he did so. That's where we all, everything started. Fode recruited them together. Sometimes it takes a lot of, you know, diamond energy and all sort of nuts. But finally, he was able to make up and then form a team where Ibrahim played together with his own elder brother called Fode, together with Sergio Mane, late, uh, late Sergio Mane, Star Sanyang, who at one time was a, even a, a national player mm -hmm. as well. Jabo Mane as well, Martino as well was a fourth division player, played for Hawks and then for NP in, in, in the Banjul Navetan and so on. So it all started here. Ibrahim did his career mm -hmm. with dedication. He did everything to make sure that he became what he was at the time. Mm -hmm. So now there are young players who wanted uh, who wanted to follow his footsteps as well. So that's it. Ibrahim, he did a lot okay. in football. Yeah. All right. okay. Ibrahim, he is the coach now of the Kuta Jambulu team, a team that Ibrahim Mane played uh, at his uh, uh, teenage or young age. And uh, here, Mudlam Insane, let's talk about the future of these players. Uh, players that are looking up to being one Ibrahim Mane or even play higher positions or higher teams than Ibrahim Mane. Uh, do you think there are players or even a player here who can be a Ibrahim Mane or even more than Ibrahim Mane? There are a lot of them, actually. Uh -huh. If you look at the uh -huh. generations that followed uh -huh. Ibrahim Mane uh -huh. and uh, looking at this generation, uh -huh. I think this generation is one of the best generations that I've even, ever emerged in Mane Kona. Uh -huh. Actually, as I always tell these people that Dedication, hard work, discipline can take you somewhere where you don't expect. Mm. But I know before when we are playing, our Ibrahim and Mane and the others were playing, mm. there were no trained coaches training them. Those people were played, just playing as to what they see other players doing. Like at the national team, there was not that television mm. thing they can see. Maybe then there was TV Senegal. But they were talented. Now, with these ones, you can see a lot of natural talents in them. And then I hope in the nearest future, maybe in three, four years' time, you can have people here who will be playing more than Ibrahim Mane does, mm. maybe even at national team, national level. Mm. So actually, we are expecting even to have professionals among them, mm. because during the time of Ibrahim, we had some professionals like, like, uh, Star Sanyang was a professional in the US. Mm. This man also was a professional, Seba Danjo, in every coast. Mm -hmm. He, also is a, he was also a professional. Mm -hmm. So, but really, we expect these people to do far more better than them. Because looking at their age and what they can do in football, because I'm a trained coach. Mm -hmm. Looking at these players, most of them mastered the basics in football without going on that such vigorous trainings. Mm -hmm. But they were able to do it better, mm -hmm. you know. So, actually, I hope and pray that with our intervention as coaches and trainers, they can do far more better than Ibrahim. Mm. And the other time when he came there, he saw them. He saw them playing in the late his late brother's tournament for them. And when he saw the team, he said, "Hey, this team is a results team." He was so happy. We scored a goal. He gave us. He gave ten one thousand dollars to somebody. Say if they win this match, he give them one thousand dollars as a bonus. And we won that match two, 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 two goals to zero. He said that team is a results team. Mm. So if you keep that team, I think you can go somewhere. And this team is the team that goes to the second time for the second time the league. If he league final, 
And if you see the players that started the league, the first league, everybody in Barcelona said, Kuta Jambul, now we don't have a team. Because here, as I said, if, you, if, you, if, you, if there's any Brazil in URL or in the Gambia, it's Manakuna. Every little boy is here can, is a natural talent. They can all play. Mm. So we expect to have, to have many more Ibrahim Manes here. Many, many more. Because I wish you had come earlier when the, like, the day was clear, yeah, when it was clear, it was broad daylight. You would have seen players here who you will not imagine at their age what they were doing with the ball. Mm. But I only hope that they listen to us as coaches mm. and at least they endeavor and want to be serious and make football a career. Inshallah, they'll not regret it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Coach Ibrahima, uh, yes. what do you put into them? I mean, of course, you teach them how to control ball, how to pass accurately. But apart from that, what do you tell them? What do you make them believe that the future is bright for you? First of all, I always inject discipline in them. First of all, you cannot be a professional without being disciplined. Anywhere in the world, everything starts there. First, you have to get the discipline, you have to get the focus, you have to get the mentality of being a player. You have to be focused in the first place. I want to be a player, then you have to focus. Inject yourself discipline, then go and play football, enjoy yourself, you can do football. Mm. Yeah, mm. definitely. Mm. I always tell them, you maintain discipline wherever you go, you can fit in. Any society, anywhere, any work that you want to do, everything starts there. You start discipline, you have dedication, ambition to go further, further, further every time. You train, you want to train, you want to get to somewhere where people, professionals get there. You have to be, work for it, hmm. work for it. I believe in work. You have to you get the discipline and work. Hmm. This is what I work great has me too much, definitely, yeah. Hmm. This is what I believe in, yes. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Basse have been producing talents. I mean, you talk of Star Jalos, they, they all came from Basse, and notably Mane, who we are talking about here from Kutu Jambolo. Um, uh, comparing those days and now, how did you see football in Basse? Yeah, quite honestly, football at some point has a dropping point in Basse, obviously, because of certain reasons. Um, we have administrators in Basse here for the last five, ten years. They wanted to mix up football with politics, quite obviously. So it has downgraded football in Basel a bit. Mm. But most over here, we continue where Ibrahim lives. We still continue and we're still working on that. And we're still producing a lot of players. Here, you go to Banyul, you find another team there. You look at all the teams in Banyul. You look, you see a player from Manekunda all over. Go to Lamen, you see a player from Manikun. Go to Brikama, you see a player from Manikun. Go to Banyu, you see a player from Manikun. So we keep on working. We believe in working. Mm. We, we, we believe in training. We believe in working. We believe in injecting everything into them so that they know what it all, what football is all about. Mm. Yeah, definitely, yes. Right. Mm. Now, I mean, briefly, what should be the way forward? You talked about the game being stagnant here, yeah, not moving compared to the previous years. What do you think should be the way forward to, to prepare a better future for, for these kids? Actually, what I believe in is knowledge. Mm. Knowledge is power. They said you can take the horse to the river, you can't ask or force the horse, horse to, uh, to drink. What actually happened is, I think, to conclude, people need to have knowledge about the game. That is to know what, is, what football is about, one. That is, when people should follow the camp training. Mm -hmm. Camp training is the coaches must be trained to know what they are doing. One, the administrators must know what is about what is football administration. How do I administrate football? Do I do a football administration? The referees has been a problem over the years, and I think that's another point. Management or the medic, medical, or the medic, the medical. Hmm. You know, you see a team playing without a physio, a whole team. A football club for that more like our team we had one but there are other teams here who you see the whole team there's no physio there's some medical personnel there and they're playing in a league so these are things that people need to have knowledge about so that we avoid certain injuries and the players if you are a better trained coach i think managing it or keeping the team in form is very simple because if you don't know something you cannot train it yeah. so knowledge i believe is very key and it's powerful so if you know football, you train, are you a train coach? You know something about football. You can make a team work.
mm. and get as results that are desired or people even that don't expect. So, but I believe in knowledge. Knowledge is very key in anything. Mm. So for us, I think this is what we are trying to establish as a club to make sure that all the technicians and administrators here have knowledge, then we can at least inculcate it in them <laughs> during our trainings. Mm. Uh, yeah. mm. is a trainer at uh, the Kute Jambulu football team here in uh, Base Mane Kunda and uh, Ibrahim Sanyang, he is also uh, the head coach of the team. Thank you very much Mr. Sani and uh, Mr. Sanyang uh, for your time. It has been a pleasure talking to you here in Basse. My name is Omar Jaju and this is The Chronicle.